Here at Carnival, we host you know, every single cruise and quite like rightly so. We do have a lot of events going on throughout the cruise that is designed to bring fun and enjoyment to guests, but this one is extra special because it is designed to honor and thank our guests for their wonderful courage, their commitment to their country. Uh, and thank you all very much for being here this morning. Now to start off the event appropriately, we do have an incredible team on board. Uh, this lady I'm about to introduce found out about our gathering and asked if she could contribute in any way, shape or form. So to start us off appropriately with the national anthem from New York, please welcome our playlist singer, Ali. Regardless of your personal political beliefs, regardless of who's making decisions for you at home, and regardless of everything else, you serve the country because it is the right thing to do. It's not the easy thing to do, but it's the right thing to do, and you deserve all of the gratitude and respect that the rest of us can give you. So thank you very much. ladies and gentlemen and quite right folks each and every one of you thank you very much for joining us today the whole purpose of this gathering is to thank uh, everybody that has sacrificed for their country uh, the first branch that we would like to recognize is the army ladies and gentlemen please rise and receive a big recognition the army. Next branch we would like to recognize 
is the Navy, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's hear it one more time. Thank you, Thank, you. Thank you all very much for your service. Thank you. The next batch that we would like to recognize are the Marines, ladies and gentlemen. Please rise and receive a big recognition. The Marines. Come on now. The next branch that we would like to recognize is the Air Force, ladies and gentlemen. Please rise and receive our pay recognition. The Air Force. Then the next branch we'd like to recognize that came to our rescue many times. We're talking about the Coast Guard, ladies and gentlemen. Please rise. I'm going to see my big recognition. The Coast Guard. I don't think. I don't think so. I don't see anybody. <laughs> Then there is one more group that we would like to recognize, folks. In our opinion, they don't receive nearly enough recognition that they deserve. It is a very, well, there's no words to describe the feeling of seeing your loved ones going off to strange countries, not knowing where they are on a daily basis, yet having to stay at home, being the glue that keeps the families together, and of course being the reason. And we are talking about the families of our military service members that we would also like to ask to rise and receive a big recognition of all of our families. You really are the glue of the support and the reason. Thank you all very much for all that you do. And we all know in this world, folks, that freedom is not free. So we would like to take a moment of silence to remember your fallen brothers and sisters that did not make it home. So please join us now. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And there's something very special uh, that we'd like to do at all of our events, is to actually open up the floor to each and every one of you. If you have any stories you'd like to share, any personal thanks you would like to give, or even advice for our, our future military service members, we would love to hear from you. I would just like to say, from what I heard from the wonderful, wonderful, phenomenal man, which is my father, who retired out of the United States Army, good soldiers don't die, they just fade away. And I would just like to thank for the men, the military, and everyone who have just been so wonderful throughout the whole entire thing to just have words to just describe for what they do for our country. That's it. I would just like to say, let's not forget the females, the women veterans. I am a whack women Ooh. from Thank you. And I'm from a family of military. Thank you. Wow, women there.
for. See, good morning to everybody. Uh, one thing that I want to just bring to everyone's attention is certainly we want to continue praying for those that suffer with the post-traumatic stress syndrome. Um, again, we serve, we fought, we go through, right? You know what I mean? We all cope. We're on these cruises. We get to hang out. But we have to make sure that we keep in mind for those that are suffering, those who haven't adjusted, you know, so rather wars pass, or again, the current wars, we want to make sure that we keep those in our prayer. For those who do suffer with the PTSD, you're not alone. Brothers and sisters, we will continue making it, right? We will continue doing what we have to do. We will continue coming on these cool cruises and just decompressing. And we will continue celebrating the service and, again, that service that we made to our country. So God bless you. Before we move on, though, we would like to recognize the group that we're not given the welcome home that they deserve. Um, and we would like to, of course, invite all of our Vietnam veterans that are in the room, if we do have any, to please rise and receive a huge welcome home that you so dearly deserve. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you all the president of Carnival Cruise Line, Miss Christine Duffy. Hi, I'm Christine Duffy, president of Carnival Cruise Line. And I would like to thank you, not only for cruising with us, but for attending this special tribute we put together to honor those who have served or are currently serving in our military. I hope all of you have enjoyed this special event today as much as we at Carnival enjoy honoring you for your service. We thank you for spending your vacation with us and on behalf of the entire Carnival family, we hope you and your loved ones had an extraordinary time here on your Carnival cruise because you deserve it. Thank you. Every single month, Christine likes to send a big salute to all of our active duty, retired, and veterans of the military services. I would like to award one with a free cruise for themselves and their entire family. So we do hope that you have a chance to fill out your sweet state forms today. If not, you can see myself or Stefan at the end. We'll give you the little forms uh, to be filled out and handed in to either one of us uh, before you leave today. That's will up on stage in front of the flags. So we would like to invite you all to the stage. If you have any trouble with stairs, please still come down and we will make sure that you are in the photograph as well. But don't be shy, we'd like to invite you all up to the stage.